Kaan Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bashmi and Shai Bashmi Kakadash, the Baon of the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the hopeful electors pushing his truth for sincerity. <laughs> so, this is going to be another Chanta Salma Days Breakdowns episode. Whew. This episode, I believe it is in 57 or 58. But we're going to jump into uh, Psalms 137, an experience of captivity. And it's not the first time that we are in captivity today. If you read in the book of Judges, you see many a times we are giving into the hands of our enemies. But if you look back at all the things that has been done unto us in the past and compare it with what has taken place with us in these days, you might think like past times were worse, you know, cuffed, chained, brutal things been done. But this, this captivity is in a... Um, is more mental and more more spiritual what is taking place towards our people and the deception the self-destruction is 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 difficult to compare with each other because it's a whole it's a whole other it's a whole other way of uh, destruction that is actually falling on our people man but it says by the rivers of babylon there we sat down yea we wept when we remembered Zion. Why? Because we were taken captive, you know, we were completely uh, um, uh, taken down. The Bible speaks about the, the, there shall be a, a fall away. Why is it in the script in the Second Thessalonians, right? Yeah, Second Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and by the gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letters, as from us, as in as the day of the of Mashiach is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for the day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. You see, and that that fall away. Where did I open it? Bear with me. Oh here. That fall away actually happened 70 AD. You know how we how they conquered us, they completely destroyed us. Even even unto this very day, we're still in the lowest state. So there's no there's no joy or mirth in somebody that is completely uh, conquered and completely destroyed you're going to weep you're going to cry you're going to be in grief you're going to be in mourning you know that is the estate that our people uh, were in and even unto this very same day they still are in mourning you know the spirit make it intercession towards the heavenly father for the estate we're in you know this whole place Micah 2 and 10 explains we, we we're living or we're fighting against demons in a place that is giving him to the hand of the wicked so everything is polluted and your soul your spirit is actually mourning continually man it says we hanged our harps upon the willows in the midst thereof yeah man you hanged you hanged your your harps and what is a harp a harp is actually an instrument that represents joy man you know king david played the harp and the harp is a very powerful instrument man by the way of playing skillfully on the harp the 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 mighty King David removed that spirit from, from ex-King Saul. So it shows you that the harp is, is a spiritual, powerful, but also a joyful instrument, man. But all that joy was turned into weeping and into mourning. The book of Job chapter 30, verse 31. My harp also is turned to mourning and my organ into the voice of them that weep. Yeah. All mirth was turned, all mirth, all tablet was turned into 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 weeping and mourning, man. That is what happened with, with our people, man. And even unto this very same day, man, we our people are in a state of mourning, catching hell. If you if you obtain this truth, you wake up to who you truly are. The heavenly father guides you to knowing and understanding that you're an Israelite, you obtain this truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That gives joy. It gives joy, it gives comfort, you know, it gives strength. It gives you stability. It gives hope. It quickens you. 
But if you don't have these things, you're truly in a in 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 some depth in in a pit. You in hell. You 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 you're hopeless. You know the only the only things as as escape, which our people would look upon is is selling out, bowing down. You know, uh, um, doing all type of treachery, envying the oppressor in order to escape the oppression. You know, throwing your bowels, all morality and all all all, all ethics to side to the side to 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 climb up in order to escape this oppression, man. You see, it says in verse three, for there for that day that carried us away captive required of us a song, and they that based us required of us mirth and saying, sing us one of the songs of Zion. Trying to imagine, man, you being you being conquered. Salah. You're about, you're already being conquered by the enemy, and it's actually we were we were giving into the hands of the enemy, man. So as you are given into the hands of the enemy, the enemy demands from you a song of joy, while you see your your loved ones being completely butchered, family members ripped apart, women are being completely raped, children are being dashed and smashed and, and completely destroyed, raped and brutalized. And then you have this devil, this devil demanding that you play one of those songs which actually represent joy and gladness, you know? That's crazy. There's the book of, um, where is the scripture saying? In the book of Sirach, Sirach chapter 7 verse 34. It says, fail not to be with them that weep and mourn with them that mourn. So when, when somebody, when our people go to hell, the Bible actually states to be with them and give them comfort you know be in an understanding mind that that is what the bible actually explains be with be in an um, in an understanding mind of what that person is going to you're not going to require something of joy from somebody that is that is that is grieved you're not going to play some 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 loud happy music when somebody just lost somebody man you know or or or, or other uh, grievous misfortune man but that is what Esau did man and, and even on to this very same day you know they 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 want our people to sell out you know take a gift take take money take bribes fame and all those things that are being promised onto them so that they can produce all type of all type of you know all type of garbage where do they want to call it music i don't call it music man they want to call it music but it's there to to control and to manipulate their mind into into fun, into bread and circus. It's 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 the the giving of a false joy, using our people uh, to to manipulate our people into into thinking that this is the place to be. You can make it. You can be. You know, if you can make it in New York and all those all those stupid things. But in reality, this is this is modern day slavery, man. This is this is the place where our people are willing to sell the soul, to bow down unto the enemy. And to to make all type of joyful sounds while they are in slavery, while 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 they are in captivity, man. The book of Proverbs twenty five verse twenty. As he that taketh away a garment in cold weather, and as vinegar upon nitre, so is he that singeth songs to a heavy heart. And that's what Esau wants demands from our people, man. He he wants you to contribute in partying along. With 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 um, with their with their feast and celebration days like Thanksgiving, Columbus Day, where they completely destroyed the native Indians, the the, the tribe of Reuben and Gad, and yet they demand or they want you to 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 be partake of celebrating. The way how the way how they make the whole music industry establish it in a way where they want you to make all type of drill gangster rap. You know that murder music, the death music, that that degenerating a music, garbage is what it is. And many of our people are willing to sell their soul because they are in a state of oppression, and they they poor, they are catching hell, they living in a, they they existing or surviving in the, in the ghettos, and they trying to escape this oppression, man. You know, let's get this in the book of Proverbs fourteen as well. So it's very it's very easy for for Esau to to deceive many of our people because they 
day in day in darkness man the book of prophets 14 verse 13 even in laughter the heart is sorrowful and the end of that mirth is heaviness so when you got those people that are willing to sell out you see a lot of people these so-called stars on the tv being joyful because i'm pulling it I'm, I'm actually putting a parallel uh um a perspective of how things went back then and how they are going now because back then they also demanded songs play on the harp you know sing was one of those things you know the song from um let me just show you you know the song from uh uh what is it the robin robbie williams this song this this is what they this is what they want from us man mr bojangles you gotta you gotta play this song if you if you watch this clip i can't play it right now but if you watch this clip you see the person which is called mr bojangles all doing the tap dancing tick, 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 you know and that's actually what they want from you man just just be that be that coon be that be that monkey that will entertain them so that they can look at you and laugh at you and 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 while you're actually in a state of of nothing to joke about there's nothing there's nothing funny on the fact how they completely destroyed our people how they dehumanized our people how they used the willy lynch how they how they kicked us to the ghettos how they used all type of psychological and spiritual warfare against our people physically by the way of food by the way of spraying you geoengineering miseducation there's nothing nothing funny about what they have done unto our people but yet the devil the devil is there to trick and to play with the minds of our people and make it seem as if you just got to go along with the madness that is being pushed towards you let me see where is where am i man hey salah you know that's how the devil the devil is man first four how how shall we sing the lord's song in a strange land yeah exactly man how how can we be joyful in a place like this and that's from the perspective especially for my people when they don't know how how can they be happy like you got songs on this earth you got feral to a certain degree i can understand because it's about they're trying to be positive but how realistic is that 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 positive mind if you don't understand what truly is taking place the bible the bible states about how what is it in the book of prophets 21 Proverbs 21 verse, uh, verse 16 the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead so how can you how can you play all type of joyful sounds or make a joyful noise a joyful noise as you are in a state of not understanding and you're still you're still spiritually dead you're disconnected from the most high you're drifting further away from the heavenly father towards the oppressor and you 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 lose more of that which the heavenly father ordained you to be you know like how the scripture says the most high ordained us to be noble finds but because they conformed themselves unto the ways of the world they became degenerates so when you see all these gremlins doing all the gang banging when you see the daughters of zion twerking and and being promiscuous and and being lesbians and all those homosexuals and all and all the abominable degeneracy that is actually the end product of the programming and and the molding of of ESO system you know it says in verse 5 if i forget thee o jerusalem let my right hand forget her cunning hey eh? only only to think about the idea that we would forget the holy place man hey and the powerful thing is like it's different depending on all the trash but we always no matter how deep we sunk no matter how uh how much evil was done unto us there was always a spiritual a connection with within you you know because the most high let's get to jeremiah was it jeremiah 51 the book of jeremiah 51 and around 19 it says the portion of jacob is not like them for he is the form of all things and this well is the word of his inheritance the lord of hosts is his name so 
when you when you look when you look at um when you look at jacob when you look at the jacob descendants we are we are special people man you know we we are not no ordinary people upon this earth we are the closest unto the most high so the spirit that is inside of us is not is not to be compared with the rest of the people on this earth we are holy people man so in your speech even when you're occupied in the wrong or you're being misled there's still a connection with you and the heavenly father there's always a zeal a strong zeal that is striving to do the right thing or to be spiritual connected or to to be spiritual the book of romans chapter 10 verse 2 for i bear them record that they have a seal of the most high but not according to knowledge so our people have that strong seal but they they didn't have it according to the to knowledge they've been searching looking trying to understand but many of them haven't found what the, the hopeful elect has found the understanding that we are the israelites and that we need to walk repent return unto the most high and walk in his ways 11 and 7 what then had israel had not obtained that which it seeketh for but the election which is talking about the elect the first fruit had obtained it and the rest were blinded the rest of the, the two thirds they are blinded and they are not going to get it they will stay in a state conformed unto the ways of this world they will deem what we do for the heavenly father as a joke they will not walk and know the fear of the heavenly father they will not know the meaning of true love abiding in the most highest commandments so they will not have the mercy because they don't even believe they don't have faith their faith is not in the most high their faith their trust is in modern day egypt in this system it, whether it is in money whether it is in materialistic things whether it is they putting their trust in themselves and men but it's not on the heavenly father so there is no hatch there's no understanding they they are completely in darkness and they have joy in being in the dark state man not understanding that they are heading towards complete destruction so it says if i forget thee o jerusalem let my right hand forget her cunning and what does it mean that forget my cunning because the playing of the harp you know the skillful playing again i have to mention the mighty king david playing the harp psalms 33 verse 1 rejoice in the lord o righteous for praise is commonly for the upright. Praise the Lord Jehovah with the harp. Sing unto him with psaltery and instrument of ten strings. Sing unto him a new song. Play skillfully with a loud noise. Yeah, because you we are we are serving and worshiping the most most high man. This is this is the ruler, the, the ruler, the creator, the king of the universe, man. People people need to understand who they serve or who you're dealing with, man. And these creatures don't understand who we serve. We we are not bowing down unto some idol. This is this is the highest force, the creator of everything, is what we worship or who we follow. But many of them don't believe or think that that's the case, or it could be true, while it is the truth. We are connected. We are the chosen people, and you have those those fake Jews in our holy land proclaiming that they are the chosen, while they are not the chosen. They are nothing but the synagogue of Satan. The children of Israel would end up in captivity. We are in captivity. We would lose our identity. In the Holy Land, in, in, holy land, in, the, in the land of captivity, the Most has said, we would remember uh, ourselves and we would call upon His name. That is taking place right now. So you have a great a mass awakening all over the globe and nobody is going to stop it, man. No, no faux Cap Malone, no modern day phony Christianity which, which they brought and forced upon us by the way of captivity none of that is going to stop the mass awakening of the true children of israel man and this wicked empire is going down esau edom is going to be judged punished for all the evil that they have done unto us man so it says if i do not remember thee let my tongue clave to the roof of my mouth if i prefer not jerusalem above above my joy my chief joy <laughs> if we would forget jerusalem when you when you forget Jerusalem, you forget the Most High. That that's that's the Lord's holy place, Zion. How can we forget that? When you forget Jerusalem, you forget yourself. You forget the Most High. You forget yourself. And um, till a certain degree, our people our people uh, forgot. You know, this is actually the the one of the one of the the only captivity where we truly didn't knew who we who we were. 
we forgot. That's actually actually grievous, man. You don't know who you are. You you don't know who you truly are. And then these the, the oppressor completely slaughters you, places all type of proverbs and bywords on you, calls you nigger, calls you black, calls you African, calls you Afro American, calls you West Indian, uh 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 um uh, uh, Puerto Rican, Mexican, Colombian, Brazilian, Argentine, all those labels being placed on our people, man. Separating them from the true identity mentioned in the Bible, man. That's why I didn't, they didn't want us to read the Bible. They, they show you these things in all these movies, man. These slavery movies, man. You were not allowed to read the Bible because they knew that if we would read the Bible, our people would find out that we are the chosen people of the Most High. So you was not allowed to read and write. They want to keep you stupid. They want to keep you low. That's why in this present time they say, if you want to hide the truth for our people, put it in a book because they have completely destroyed the minds of our people that there is no desire, no, no hunger to read and to understand and to obtain wisdom, knowledge and understanding. You're trying to kick knowledge to our people these days and they're, be in, they're, they're being not interested. But if you put on a song about how dangerous, Johnny Dangerous, and how much dope dealing you're doing, how a brute you are, how 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 a how a, 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 a whoremonger you are, or whatever whatever criminal, then our people love it, man, because that is that is how they have been groomed by the oppressor, man. The Book of Jeremiah, chapter four, verse twenty-two: For my people is foolish; they have not known me. They are foolish right now, and they don't know the Most High. Even though many of us, our people, go to the church temples built by hand, and they go to those churches where they sing and clap and dance and, and keep repeating about Jebus, sweet white Jesus they praising. But none of them is opening the Bible, reading the scriptures, understanding what is written in the scriptures. The pastor that is there in the church is not reading the scriptures, not breaking it down, not going into the prophecy, not giving them understanding. These people don't even know who the nation of Edom is. They don't even know that they're the Edomites, the cursed nation that has no mercy from the Most High. But they're not going to tell you that because nobody wants to be an Edomite. These Edomites don't want to be Edomites, man. When they, when they, when they read the book of Obadiah, they'd be like, no. So the best thing to do is to avoid speaking about the Edomites or to teach people that the Edomites are no longer in existence while they are upon this earth. This empire is being ruled by the nation of Edom and they will be judged for all the evil that they have done unto the righteous children of the Most High. It says, and they have none understanding. It says, they are such as children, they are silly, they are stupid. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. When you, when you study our people today, the Most High ordained them to be holy. You have to be a light, a candle on this earth. Seeing that they are not walking in the ways of the Most High, they are not walking in the instructions of the Heavenly Father, which means they are not walking in the instructions of light and righteousness. They are walking in the instructions, the instructions of the oppressor. And what is the oppressor, the wicked, the ruler of this earth doing and teaching our people? Be a degenerate, be a criminal, be a thief, be a scumbag. Be the, 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 the oppressor is actually teaching our people that what the oppressor is saying, be like me. That is that is what the system is doing. The elites control the system and the system is teaching them, be like me that is ruling upon the earth. You gotta the, the system is programming our people to be like Edomites. And the understanding is we are the salt of the earth. So when we do things, we exalt above all the nations. So when they teach our people to be evil, our people exalt in the evil above the nations. That's why I see all the murder when you see when you're looking at Chicago, Chirac. Because they're walking in the footsteps of the one that has the legacy of rape, rob, murder. Being a deceitful thief, a snake, a serpent, a scumbag on this earth, man. The book of Micah chapter 4 verse 11. Now also many nations are gathered against thee. That say, let her be defiled and let her eye look upon Zion. You know, and Psalms 83 explains it, man. All these nations are joined together against us, starting with the nation of Edom, the wicked, the scum of the earth, you know. So, um, 
again in verse 6, If I do not remember to let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth, if I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Yeah, like how the scripture says about in, um, is it in Esdras 5? From all the foulest I choose one, the dove, and from all the cities the heavenly father chose Zion, which goes to the holy land, the land of Israel, you know, referring to to Jerusalem. That's our holy land. Let me see where it is. Bear with me. Here. One people. Oh man, beautiful. Let me see. I gotta read this whole piece. Uh yeah, oh yeah, here it is. Got it. So let me see where we're gonna start this a little bit, man. Let me start it from um Let me start it from um let me start it from twenty four man twenty three and said uh second Esther five verse twenty three and said O Lord thou bearest rule of every wood of the earth and of all the trees thereof thou hast chosen the one only fine and of all the lands of the whole earth thou hast chosen the one pit and of all the flowers thereof one lily and of all the depths of the sea thou hast filled thee one river and of all the builded cities that has hallowed Zion unto himself. Yeah, because that's the memorial, the monument, man. Which goes to the Holy Land. It goes to Jerusalem. It goes to us. You know, we, we, we are a people before we are a place. You see, so we are that memorial. The Heavenly Father, the, the Heavenly Father is, is connected with us and with the Holy Land. When you read in the book of Baruch, it even speaks about how the land was mourning when we were actually casted out of our holy land. The land was even mourning. The Lord, the Lord was in grief because he had to do what he has to do. He, the Lord is not a man that he should lie. We went off and the most I had to do what he said that he would do. He would give us away. So, but he did it with grief, you know, who, who, who wouldn't feel pain in, in, in that way as, as, as chastising and, and correcting and teaching your child, you know. It hurts, you know. There's a song from um, uh, DMX. DMX had that song. Um, what was that song? Grandma. I believe he had a line where really he spoke like, "Where's grandma?" Corrected then and uh, whooped his ass, and where his grandma actually used the words, "It hurts me more than it hurts you." You know, the the chastising can be can be painful to 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 be applied for the one that is applying it but it's all for the for a greater and a better purpose you know the same thing with the most high the most high gave us into the hand of our oppressors and it don't think that it didn't do anything with the lord man you know because the most high gave us in the most hateful forsakers of righteousness and of the lord and what these people have done unto our people, if you look at the estate that our people are in today, it's 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 grievous, man. It's grievous what they have done unto our people, the minds of our people today, the way how they have joy in destroying and just bowing down and selling out unto the oppressor, helping the oppressor to cause affliction unto our people is is sick, man. And yet declining. The, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding out of the scriptures, not taking time to research, not taking time to understand, not taking time to read, not taking time to ask questions and to obtain understanding, none of that, just having more joy and being a degenerate and fighting against the way out. The book of Isaiah chapter 47, and that's why the Bible says only a small remnant is going to obtain. Two-thirds of our people is not going to make it, man. Isaiah 47 verse 6, I was rough, the Most High was rough with my people, with the children of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, and you Israelite foreigners who are scattered around the earth. I have polluted mine inheritance. The Lord polluted his inheritance because we were giving him to the hand of the Edomites, man. Or, or whether it be other nations, what they do, they separate you from the holy laws of the Most High. 
you were no longer allowed to keep the Sabbath, the holy days, the holy days of the Most High. You know, you had, you had, you had, you had the abomination of desolation. They, these, these devils been burning pork at, 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 um, uh, at the holy place, man. You know, as, as, at the place of sacrifice towards the Most High. They've been burning swine's flesh, which is unclean. That, that is how demonic these people are, man. It says, I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst shew them no mercy. Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. You see, so they have no mercy unto you, man. They do all type of evil. When you speak out, they make it seem, they say, no, it's not that, it's not like that. Well, it's just innocently this, this and that. Like the same thing with these, with these feast days over here. You explain these people about what they truly mean and what they truly represent and where they truly based on these people will come with all type of lies all type of madness you know the black face in the class even though uh, uh slowly but sure even even those that are in uh um political established positions acknowledge and they can they can't long they can no longer play no game of fooling and lying and tricking you can but only admit and change because more of our, more of our people waking up and getting getting angry at the evil that is taking place. You know, that we have a song, Father Jacob slaat nog, You know, Father Jacob. That's our forefather. They make they make songs about mocking our people, man. Uh, as as in, are the children of Israel still not aware who they are? That they are the chosen people. Are you still asleep? Are you still asleep? Like. Man, it's crazy, man. And you just you look back and you remember all these things. You'd be like, "Yo, this is this is this is wicked, man. These people are so wicked, man." It says in the book of um, in verse seven, Slachia for the whole <laughs> Renton. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom, the children of Edom, the Edomites, the wicked, in the day of Jerusalem, who said, "Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation of the world." Yeah, because that was their mind, man. Their mind was like, destroy, destroy the children of Israel, destroy Jerusalem, destroy that holy place, man. Take it down to the ground, burn it down to the ground. That's the mind of these Edomites, even until this very same day. You know, they they trying to avoid us of being Israelites and knowing that we are Israelites. And they do this in the hope that they can get the glory, the kingdom pertaining unto us, but they're not going to get it. This, this what they do is actually waging war against the Most High against the beloved son of the heavenly father Yahushai and they waging war against the chosen people of the most high because they want to be chosen this is this is jealousy hate envy because they are not chosen they want to be chosen so bad they want to be us so bad that they even steal our identity they go to our holy land and they act as if they are us but they ain't us you the wicked you the devil the bible speaks about man you nothing but scum that's the nation of Edom. They, they were created to be the evil on this earth, man. And if you study their steps, if you study what they do and how they act and how they justify their things upon this earth, there's nothing righteousness about them, man. There's no soul, no flavor, no spiritual connection with them and the most high inside of them, man. When they make music, there's no spiritual high uplifting praise towards the most high thanksgiving, empowering uh, energy inside of it, man. It's empty. It says in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, verse 12, Thus saith the Lord power, because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance for what the Edomites have done unto the children of Israel. Judah is talking about um, Judah, Benjamin, and, 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 and Levi, man, and had greatly offended and revenged himself upon them, but also as, as in wholesome about the children of Israel. Yeah, because they have greatly offended, man. The way how they have destroyed our people, man, Words, words, words cannot express, man. Therefore, thus said Lord Power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. So the Most High is letting you know for what you did unto my chosen people. And understand, those are my chosen people. Even if you will, will not acknowledge that we are the chosen people of the Most High. We are the chosen people of the Most High. And for what you have done unto the chosen people of the Most High, you will be punished. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So when you got people saying things, we are all equal, that's nonsense. We are not equal. You know, the chosen people of the most are above the rest of these people, man. You have the highest 
the holy, the chosen, those who are closest unto the Most High, and you have the wicked, the lowest. The Edomites are called the bases of men. Why are they called the bases of men? Because they are, they are actually the chosen seed pertaining unto Satan. They are the wicked that the Bible speaks about, man. And it's not difficult to see and to understand. You just observe these nations, their, their, their steps concerning history, even unto this very same day. You study the elites, the, the ones in high positions, and you study the people in the system. How they move, how they speak, what they do, what they say, how they justify their conduct. You understand that they are the devil the Bible speaks about, man. You know? So, boom. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord Power, I will stretch out my hand, out, uh, uh, out my hand upon Edom, and I will cut off man and beast. Yeah, why? Again, let me bring this out in the book of Zechariah. The Bible explains everything, man. Zechariah 2 and 8. It says, For thus saith the Lord of hosts, after the glory had he sent me unto the nations, the heathen nations, which spoiled you because they all spoil us, man. They all oppress you, they all use you, they all maltreat you, they all speak evil about you. They all they all being in disrespect towards you. But the Lord is seeing everything, man. The most the most high sees everything. Everything that we go through upon this earth, the Heavenly Father sees it, man. And when the judgment is going to be there, man, it's gonna be sweet. It's going to be sweet because these people are going to get double, double according to what they have done unto us. As they laugh and, and have joy and all the evil that they do all towards you, hey, we bear our cross, man. You know, the, you, you sold you up. No matter what type of misfortune you go to, we keep on going because we understand that this empire is not going to be forever. This is, this is a temporal empire. Esau is ruling right now, but they're not going to rule forever. Even their own people are catching hell right now, crying and asking for, looking for ways out, going and demonstrating. You got all these boers, these farmers crying and, and all type of shit. Because an Edomite, an Edomite does not care about his own people, man. They don't care about others, but they, leave, they don't even care about their own people, man. That's why they're called the wicked. The devil the Bible speaks about. So when the Lord is going to bring judgment, the judgment will be according to their sowing. You know, in Dutch we have a saying, what you zeit is what you oast. You go and reap according to your own sowing. You've been occupied in rape, rob, murder, lying, deceit for being a serpent, running, doing all type of treachery, hoping that nobody knew and understood what you was doing in the dark, trying to send people to do things, bribing, all type of fuckery. But the Most High sees everything that you do. And the Lord, the Lord is going to repay you for all the things that you have done in the dark. You're going to, be, you're going to pay. You're not going to escape just because people don't see or understand what you do in the dark does not mean that you will get away with it. You, you in your mind, you're being tricked by the Most High. Everybody will pay for what he or she is doing on this earth. It says, After the glory had he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you, for he that touched you touched the apple of his eye. So when they afflict and hurt us, they hurt the apple of the Heavenly Father's eye. But these people don't understand. Because they deem you nothing but a negro, black, a nigger, uh, a, a monkey, or, or whatever, 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 an African, whatever the Edomites has placed upon us. That is how they look at you. That is how they deem you. But the Most High knows who we are. And slowly but sure, more and more people starting to understand like, yo, hey, but what if they are the chosen people? Like, And others even acknowledge it like, yo, they are the chosen people of the Most High, man. You know? People, people are going to find out, man. There, therefore, thus said the Lord Power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom, and I will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman. And they of the dawn shall fall by the sword, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. A hey, by the hand of my people Israel. So the Lord, the Lord is going to change us, man. And I love this, man. And I'm, and I'm longing for that time. I'm longing for the time where the Most High is going to change the fishes of men into hunters. He is going to make us a new instrument, a weapon of war, which the Lord is going to use to steer, to do His bidding. And what is His bidding? To completely destroy the nation of Edom, young, 
old male female they're going to get butchered they're going to get brutalized double according to what they have done unto us that is what's coming and these people don't understand these people are still in la la land they still think that nothing is going to happen but they're going to be brutalized and they're going to be tormented on the most gruesome ways double according to what they have done unto us Jer um, jeremiah chapter 16 verse 16 behold i will send for many fishes say the lord and they shall fish them and after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and every hill and out of every holes of the rocks. Yeah, because these people are going to run. When, when, when we receive the power of the Heavenly Father, man, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be on. It's going to be on, man. You, you're going to have powers like you can see in Dragon Balls, like, like uh, Kakarot or Broly. You know, you're going to have powers like Kenshiro from, from Fist of the North Star. You go have powers like Lucy. You go. We gonna have divine higher powers, man. These people don't know about these powers. These people. These people don't even believe that this is possible. They gonna see the impossible being manifested in front of them. And we gonna we gonna blast like how you have the movie uh, uh, Brightburn. How you have the movie Brightburn. We gonna we gonna be Brightburn style up in this place, fucking people up fucking people up man let me get this man hey man i get excited i get excited when i go into these topics because that's that should be always a strong desire inside of you to bring punishment for them what they have done unto our people man you always have to remember and and go back watch pictures go into the history study what they do even unto this very same day unto our people and look at the estate of our people man this Yo, <laughs> boy, the book of Micah chapter 5 verse 7. And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people as the dew from the Lord, as the showers upon the grass, that tarried not for men, nor waited for the sons of men. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people, as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep. Who, if we go through, both tread it down and tear it in pieces, and none can deliver. How we are quickened, man. You know? Now shall we stand in great boldness uh, uh, in the face, wisdom of Solomon 5, in the face of them that have afflicted us, and they didn't deem our, our, our labor. Uh, um, let me get it, man, because I'm butchering it. I'm butchering it. You know? This is, this is how, we, how we are risen and waking up to, by the way of the Most High. And these people don't understand. They don't understand like how is it how how is it that they know the Bible? How is it that they are so strong and so 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 powerful, dedicated in what they do for the Heavenly Father, man? Every day we our life really is focused and evolves around everything with the most high. This is this is not no game. People people see the same thing as we stand on the streets. Many a times, many a times people walk by and they say things like Y'all always standing here. I have respect for y'all doing, you know, keep it up, you know. And these are people, you yourself, you, you, you yourself, you don't even notice all these people, but these people notice you. And it's very, it's very clear and very simple to understand because you stand there every Saturday. Every Saturday, there's not a Saturday going by unless there are some he grievous tornadoes and crazy storms that we are inside and we might go live or, or whatever. But beside that cold rain snow hail whatever we stand there and people see you people walk by people see the chart people see the uh, uh the signs you know so never underestimate what we do never underestimate the way how we serve the lord and we go out there and we represent our body as a living sacrifice never underestimate the power and the impact that we have upon this earth as we serve the heavenly father and we we declare the word of the most High because people see People know this. People speak. People people look things up. People go. Hey, people come up and they say like, yeah, I see y'all standing here. I was looking up things, man. Hey, beautiful thing, man. Beautiful thing. Even even people that first were speaking against it, man. And I said, I said the brother already like, yo, we go. You gonna have people that first disbelieve. They may even be gainsayers, speaking all type of madness about what we do. But after a while, the Lord, the Lord can slowly but sure open up their eyes. So we got to have patience with them. The Lord can open up their eyes and they will come back and they will say like, hey, hey, y'all, y'all are right, man. I've been looking up things. I've been watching y'all fits, you know, y'all, y'all right. 
this is what the Lord does. The Most High, the Most High works in steps. He's tweaking. He's tweaking our people. Slowly but sure, giving them, giving them what they need in order to be completely uh, uh, um, awake, you know, woke, awoke. So the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. Yeah. <coughs> we waking up, pushing the word of the Most High with great boldness. It, it requires a strong faith, a, fear, uh, a fearless mind, not, not caring about the opinions of people, not caring about people that mean mugging. And you stand there with a sure mind. You, 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 you handle your sword. You've been studying the scriptures. So when people come up, you know how to react by the way of script. There's not no moment when you uh, um, you, you get in an uh, uh moment. No, man. You know how to handle the sword. You know where the scriptures are, you know? And if you don't truly know where the scripture is, which book or which chapter, you have you have Google. You got internet. So you type in, in Google, a piece of, of the, the scripture that you're looking for and you got it. So everything, everything is within within reach. Everything is within reach to, to completely cut down and to destroy all those strongholds man any gainsayer everything man to edify to prophesy against this place everything it says when they see it a day shall be troubled with terrible fear and they shall be amazed at the strangeness of her salvation people are amazed when they see you man wearing that garment you know being 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 in a mindset in a conduct dedicated like a eager pious you know like the saints Pious, dedicated, hungry, fervent, passionate in doing what we do for the Lord. You know, every day, if it's not videos, you're reading. If it's not reading, you're studying, you're always praying. You know, you got your moments of fasting. You got your moments of meditating, considering, thinking, thinking about scenarios. You know, and continually, continually you are in a connection with the Most High. You continually, you, 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 you're, you're reaching out. You're asking. You, 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 you have your complaints. You cast your care upon the Lord. Everything is continually taking place, man. It says, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of a salvation. The way are we going to get beamed up in a chariot, which these people call UFOs? Because the system has programmed people to believe that inside of these chariots, who they call UFOs, are aliens. But there's no such thing as aliens. What is inside of these, these chariots, which they call UFOs, those are the angels. That's why back in the days you had the song, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, Swing Low. Our people have been hoping that those chariots, and they had the knowledge of the chariots back then, that they would swing low, come down and take them out of the, out of the misery out of the misery of, of surfing captivity in those days. But it wasn't the time. We are living in the time where the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is allowing more and more chariots to be seen. Bright, white ones, yellow ones, red ones, a barrel colored ones, you know, types, types that have all type of lights around them, like all type of chariots are showing themselves in these days. And it's through the will and power of the Most High, and it gives our people faith. It boosts your faith. You will see these things in your dreams when you are on the attack. The Lord, the Lord, you see the chariots in the sky. You know, you see angels protecting you. The Heavenly Father is bestowing powers, divine powers upon brothers and sisters in the dreams. When you are in stress and when you are attacked or when you are in prison. Like the Lord, the Lord is giving us comfort about the things that he's showing you about what is going to take place in these days, man. You might be thrown in a concentration camp. Don't fear. Don't doubt. The Lord is still with you. The Lord can break you out. Think about the, the, the thing, the moment with Peter, man. You know? The Most High can give you powers to completely destroy a whole army, a whole, a whole, a whole troop. You know? This is, this is what the Lord, the Lord will do in those days, man. So... Let's go back. Let me see. Uh, a little bit all over the place, man. It says here, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou serveth us. Yeah, you're going to get it back. You, What these people have done, man, they used our babies as crocodile bait. They, 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 they they uh, uh, dismembered our people's bodies. You know, they, they stomped on the head of a baby. 
you know they they did all type of griefiest things man the only understanding that you gotta have we gonna we gonna put we gonna meditate terror on these people man but we are not going to do those homosexual things which they did onto our people like the bug breaking we are not going to rape men to put fear in other people we're not going to do no fucking faggot shit man but we will torture you we will we will slaughter you we will we will bring terror on you and your kids for what you have done unto our people man and that's all by the way of the bible man it says happy shall he be that take it and dash it thy little ones against the stone. So let me get the scripture because people might, you know, people are very sentimental, emotional. Oh my God, are they going to do this? Are they really, do they really believe that they can do this? That's what the Bible states, man. That's what the Most High says that he's going to do with your people. And you can disagree with it, but we don't care if you disagree with it, man. You can, you can disagree with what the Lord is going to do all day, but it's not going to change anything, man. The book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, uh, 1 verse 6, Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Have they been troubling us? They did. Are they still troubling you? They do. You being gunned down in the streets, and most of the time our people don't even have a gun. You know, you're being gunned down in the streets. You be, they, they just gun you down 50 bullets, man. This man here in, in the Netherlands, you had a clip of, of a Jake. He said, like, man, there's no need to use the stun gun or the taser gun on me. I'm willing to cooperate. Let's just walk to, to, the, to, the, to the police bus and I will go to you to the police station. Yet this man, yet this devil, this, this, this demonite, pulling out his stun gun and stunning, stunning this Jake. And Jake, Jake, just, Jake, Jake with no effect, just being like, why, why are you doing this, man? Why the fuck are you doing this? There's no reason to do this. I'm already letting you know that I'm cooperating. I'm going along with you. But still you want to use that stun gun on me. You know? And he, he was just standing there like it. As if it had no, no, no effect on him, man. But that shows you the hate that these people have. They have a, let's get that, man. It's a perpetual hate. You know? And it's not going to change because this hate goes back from the point where they sold their birthright for a morsel of meat. And after that, they got supplanted from the blessing. That's why they're angry. They're mad. You know? Why are you mad? You know? Esau is mad. But, but there's nothing that he can do to change it, man. It says here. Where it starts, man? Esau is mad. Verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, a never-ending hate is inside of them. And many of them, many of them may not even understand why, why they are in that way. Because most of the time their parents were like that. They were born and raised in certain ways, you know. And certain, certain generations look, look and grow up. And they ask questions and they, they disagree with the way how they've been raised, the mindset of their parents. Others are just conforming themselves in the way of their parents. And as said, and many of and many of them are so so hypocritical, man. They they have hate towards the people, but when they near you, they, they portray and act as if they all are in the spirit of political correctness. But if they are amongst each other, if you if you would have um, a small device that can record all their all their conversations when they are amongst each other and how they speak about the people. You would immediately understand, like these people, man. You, you, the desire to completely obliterate and exterminate this nation grows with the day. You study the race. You study how they speak. You study the. You study how they truly are. Their true nature. It's nothing but wickedness, man. It says because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, say the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, save thou had not uh, uh, has not hated blood, blood shall pursue thee. Yeah, they, they these people are like vampires, man. And they little little fair vampires, man. They they drink the blood of little children to remain young. But beside that they love to, to spill the blood of the chosen people, man. You know, they, they completely, continually target our people, man. Destroying them, doing all type of evil, leading our people in committing abortion. You know, this, this, is, the, this is the mind of the nation of Edom, man. 
and for being like that you go and pay you know you just you just have to pay the the mind of an edomite is like they do evil but they don't they don't want to be accountable for the evil that they have done they want to they want to do evil but they want to get away with the evil that they do but it doesn't the, that's not how it works man you know that's not how it works the, the devil that's the mind of a devil man a devil a devil is like a devil will be a pedophile doing all type of things with children even with their own children and the hope is that they get away with it and when they get caught now now the so called uh, 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 regret comes in i'm sorry i'm sorry the crying the fake tears only to get away with the crimes that it has committed and when it gets away it goes outside and it keeps doing the same thing that is the mind of an edomite that is the mind of an edomite they're not they're not going to change they will not learn the only solution is grievous punishment destruction cast them in captivity where they have no power to exercise any form of rulership of others and where they cannot cause any form of damage if they are slaves there's nothing that they can cause you know that's the estate that's where they belong don't give an edomite power because if you give them power look at the look at the state of the world today this is what happens with the world everything gets everything gets totally messed up the minds of the people you have you have a whole lgbtq community that is being pushed all over the globe you have the the sufas the capital z animal lovers are being added you have the capital p a thing that they, they don't want to call them the pedomites the pedos that they are they go and change the meaning of the words and they will call the maps minor attracted persons so that they can deflect the 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 the, the grievousness of what they do and slowly but sure they're trying to bring it in and make it seem as if as if these people also need to be respected this is what you get when you have the nation of edom in rulership you're going to have genetically modified food poison going inside of the body of people poison flew right in your water a devil that is spraying you with all type of chemtrails a fucking devil that is that is giving you all type of poison and says it's it's medicine to heal you or to protect you or to save you this is what we have to deal with as the nation of edom is in rulership and yet they have the audacity to say that they are the chosen people of the most high man oh man oh man how 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 bad these people will pay man when it is time they're going to understand man you know right now they they think it they're in a good case for being an edomite but believe me the last thing that you want to be upon this earth is an edomite because the judgment that is coming for these people is going to be it's going to be grievous man all praises to you how about